Currently we're using too much water, too much nitrogen fertiliser and we don't have enough land. If we can do photosynthesis a lot more efficiently then we can produce a lot more food with a lot less of those inputs, making it a lot more efficient for everyone. There are many facets to improving photosynthesis. The one that we've honed in on is actually using parts of the cyanobacterial mechanism, also known as blue-green algae, which have a very efficient way of fixing CO2 for photosynthesis. So we're actually starting to move some of the components of that system into model plants such as tobacco with a longer term view of putting it into crop plants. We want to translate the information that we get in tobacco into plants like cassava and rice and soybean, which are used in developing countries as a main staple crop. We want to be able to give them the opportunity to grow enough food so that they can send their kids to school, so they can make a little bit of extra money on the side. So the work we do here at ANU is really uh, focused on plant physiology and improving plants um, from a biochemical level and we have a really strong team here to do that but we're partnered with a lot of groups around the world including people at the University of Essex in the UK, uh, the University of Illinois in the States and other groups um, around the world to try to get these plants that we're producing into the field where we can analyse them and show that they actually have improved performance. What we're going to be doing is putting more food on people's plates, especially in developing nations. This special uh, step that we've made in constructing the engine that we need is a major advance in trying to get CO2 concentrating mechanisms into plants. And we know that our next steps are to develop the fuel injection system to get the system running.